Sonic Tifo. Burger down the back stretch. He's gonna lead it. Tifo second. Tifo to the bottom of the ins to the bottom of Travis Burger. He's gonna take the lead. He slides back up the hill. Burchinski staying in second. As he's gonna look to bring in Burger. Right rear flat. Burchinski to the bottom. Tifo right rear flat. Tifo's got a flat on the right rear. Burchinski and Tifo battling out for the top one. Twenty-seven off. Is that is that Adam Flegel? No. That's not. That's yeah, it's that's Flegel. Or is it Levi Gunn? Adam Flegel in the '79 running in fourth. Hey. What's oh, that? that's a snap. '79 is Levi Gunn. Yeah, I know. He's running back there. Yeah. The new leader, Rushinsky. Flegel slides up the hill. Brian Stitch and Adam Flegel gonna battle it out down the back stretch. Rochinski still leading it here. Halfway next lap. Halfway to go next lap. Rochinski still leading it. Flegel to the bottom of Brian Stitch, not gonna get him. Battling for fourth. Is Gilliland up to third? Yeah. No, there's no way. Is it? Yep. Flegel going to the bottom. He's going to get Brian Stitch out of the turn number one. Whoa, Brian Stitch. As he goes sliding. He is running up there. She's got. Hold on, I'm going to go with Jimmy's. He's going. Is third. Yes. Great driving by Ryan Gill, and he's put that number 10 into third place. Oh, and the two car Ryan rochinski has got a left front, right, left front flat, and now it will be given to Travis Berger. Ryan Gill in second, Levi Gunn, Adam Flegel third, and fourth is Ryan Stitch. Roshinsky hauls the two off the speedway out front. Travis Berger, he's going to have some contention here with the 10 of Ryan Gilliland. Gilliland closing the gap on your leader as laps wind down. Here goes Ryan Stitch and Adam Flegel once again battling. These two battling for the points lead this year. Flegel only two points behind of Ryan Stitch. Rivalry kind of going there. Berger going to get around lap traffic. Can Gilliland catch him? We'll try. Here he comes. White flag out for Travis Berger in the 6 B. Black traffic. Ryan Gillen going to go to the bottom. Not going to get him. Larry Hunter getting sideways. Gillen down the back stretch trying to catch Berger to the corner. Going to get him. Is he going to get him? Ryan Gillen. Travis Berger side by side down the front stretch. Ryan Gillen's going to pick up the win here in the hobby stocks. Travis Berger gets second. Ryan Stitch third. Fourth will go to Adam Flegel. Peterson Hay down to three and four. Harper waves the green. Green flag racing. Off of turn four. Green skyward. Greg Dieters with a jump, but here comes the 20 B of Jim Powell. Powell to the inside. He'll look for the top spot. Powell working that low line and even lower. Here comes the 19. Kyle Vanover from Beatrice, Nebraska. He'll look for the top spot as they go into turn three. Vanover, last week's feature winner. He'll lead lap number one, and we got a big battle for a second. The C-15 of Eric Weir, Jim Powell in the 20, and Matt Hayden the 22. Weir takes the second spot, and he'll move Hayden into third as they go down the back straightaway. Out front, though, on crew, 
cruise control, the 19 of Kyle Vanover. You should have saw Marvin Griffin's car. He was doing the look at it. His car's getting off. The... Is that legal? Matt Hayes slowed. Well, I don't know if he slowed down or if he broke something. Leaf Weir and Greg Deer is going to go around him. Matt Hayes has broke or something has happened to the 22. 22 definitely off the pace as your leader's down the back straightaway. Kyle Vanover out front in the 19. The C15 of Eric Weir holds down second. And Jim Powell, the 20. Three car breakaway. Matt Hayden hauls the 22 to the pin area. Tough break for that young man. Out front, Kyle Vanover. Vanover with about a six car lead over the C15 of Eric Weir. Weir working that low line. Weir is going to kind of follow. Vanover in the 19, out front, just past halfway. Here in our Heiner Repair Service IMCA stock car, A Main. Battle for fourth now, the 29 of Greg Dieters, the 28 of Leaf Weir. Weir has that four spot. Dieters looking to get around the 28. Top three cars put distance between them and the rest of the field. Single file as your leaders continue to distance themselves from the fourth place car of Leaf Weir. Out front, the 19 of Kyle Vanover. The C15 of Eric Weir closing the gap ever so closely on the 19 as he pulls up on the bumper off of turn two. Weir with the momentum trying to find a way to get around the 19. Seems to get through turns one and two better than the 19 of Vanover, but Vanover with the momentum will hold on the lead down the back straightaway. Vanover out front, laps winding down here in our Heinen Repair Service IMCA stock car, A Main. Field status quo as laps wind down. Oh, if you want to say something more. White flags out here for Kyle Vanover. Leaf Weir is going to have one more time. That's a big. Eric slides up the hill. Vanover down the back stretch. Kyle Vanover going to take his second win here at Thunder Hill Speedway this year. Eric Weir second. Jim Powell third. Leaf Weir fourth. Dieters, fifth. So good run for the 19. Kyle Vanover back to back feature wins here in our Highland Repair Service IMCA stock car A main. Shots gonna start him down the back track. Travis Rootsy, Darren Nelson. As we get ready to go green here for the Northern Sport Mods, can Clayton take his first win on his career here in Thunder Hill, or can Jesse Shots climb to the top? Green flag waves. Shots will take the lead from Clayton. Travis Rootsy on the bottom, and here comes Darren Nelson at a 67. Three ride racing down the back stretch. Battle for a second. Eddie Shrope trying to get into it. Yep. Nelson to the bottom of Travis Rootsy. He's going to get around it for the second spot. Eddie Shrope the third trying to catch Travis Rootsy. Rootsy going to go back to the bottom of Darren Nelson. Not going to get him. Klinger trying to run that high side as he slips back up the top. Out front, the 61 of Jesse Shots, but he's got company. 
Aaron Nelson in that 67, close of the gap. Travis runs, he'll down that third spot, the 33. And your fourth position, Eddie Swope Jr. in the 91E. Aaron Nelson, attention on Jesse Shots quick. He's going to try to catch the lead. He's going to go to the bottom of Jesse Shots. Aaron Nelson trying to get to the lead. Jesse Shots takes it back from him on the back stretch. Darren Nelson back into the corner. Oh, they were going to bobble each other side by side down the back, front stretch. Jesse Shots still leading it. Two tough stock car competitors moving up to the IMCA Northern Sport Pod, shooting it out here in the front. Jesse Shots holding down that top spot in the 61. Darren Nelson right there with him in the 67. Nelson to the bottom, not going to get him. Jesse Shots going to keep the lead. Nelson back to the bottom. He's going to get Jesse Shots. Shots going to chase him back down. Going to get back into first side by side for the third or fourth lap. The same. Good Nelson. battle. Good battle up front here. Darren Nelson will lead that lap in the 67, but Shots right back on the high side. And now joining that battle in 91E of Eddie Schwab Jr. Darren Nelson keeps the lead here. Here comes Eddie Schwab Jr. To the inside. Eddie Schwab going to try to pass Jesse Shots. Oh, Darren Nelson almost hit the tires. He will slide down. And Eddie Schwab and Jesse Shots are going to try to get around him. Jesse Shots leading this one. Toby Teal going to get in the way of Jesse Shots. Nelson still up there with him. Landers working their way through lap traffic. They get around the 17. Jesse Shots with about a two car lead over the 67 of Nelson. Now keep an eye on the 34 of Max Harder. Harder has worked his way up to the top five. Darren Nelson down in the back stretch, side by side. Jesse Shots and Darren Nelson. Great racing by the two street stock drivers. Nelson back down on the bottom, gonna try to get him out of turn number four. He's gonna lead that lap. Nelson trying to keep from getting. Gonna keep Betty Schroep Jr. back there as they keep leading this one side by side. I don't know. Nelson finally gets around Jesse Shots. Oh, oh and Jesse Shots blew a motor. Tough break for the 61. We're going to have problems down the front straightaway. Shots loses power in the 61. Good job by everybody not avoid, trying to avoid him. And oh, Lance Lincoln runs right into the back of him. We're going to stay yellow. We're going to go yellow. Great driving by all the guys that didn't run into him. Nice job. The, vo the field avoiding the 61 of Jesse Shots. Tough break for Shots as he was running up front. Strong run for him, only to have a motor expire coming off turn. Darren Nelson getting ready to go green here. Harper waves a green flag. Darren Nelson, Schwab, Taylor, Brunsey, and Harder lead him off the corner. Nelson, Nelson in the 67 going way past him. Here comes Max Harder in the 34. He's going to try to give him a battle for the lead. Here comes Eddie Schwab, the junior. The 34 of Harder. Harder up into that third spot to battle with Mike Taylor. Swoop to the bottom of Darren Nelson. Is he going to get around him? Side by side down the back stretch. As he's going to get around him, Darren Nelson trying to go to the bottom. Not going to happen. New leader of the 91 of Eddie Schwab Jr. Darren Nelson back to second. And he's got company. Oh, here we go. Three wide for the lead. Nelson back to battle with Schwoke. Carter takes the gonna take the lead into the out down the back stretch. You're fine, go. Oh Eddie Schwoke and Darren Nelson getting into contact as Harder's gonna take uh, go past him and take the lead. Nelson and Schwoke got to battle for the top spot. Harder said thank you very much, went around both of them. So your new leader, the 34 of Max Harder. Schwoke gonna try to go low on him. Every time he goes low, he shuts the door white, on Darren white, Nelson. White. white flags out for Max Harder in the 34. Schwab trying to get him down the back stretch. He's going to give it one more time. Here comes Travis Ritchie in the 33. He's going to take over fourth. Kyle Overton going to take over fifth. 
Checker flag wave for Max Harder in a 34. He's going to take his first win here ever at Thunder Hill Speedway. Second's going to go to Eddie Schwope. Third goes to Darren Nelson. Fourth goes to Travis Lindsey. Fifth to Mike Taylor as he blows a motor. Nick Bittinger and Alan Halderman going to lead him out and down the back stretch. We get ready to go green for our final race tonight. 23 modifieds out there right now. Green flag for Nick Bittinger and Alan Halderman. Green on this speedway. Nick Bittinger brings them down the front straightaway. The Perry Kane Swift Stadium on the inside. He'll take the top spot. And an angry mob behind Bittinger as we go down the back straightaway field. Sorts out. Hold on, Kenny Ziegler. Ziegler on the high side off of turn two. Here comes Jordan Grabowski in the number 30 running in that seventh spot. Scott Brown moves the 11 to the third position. Grabowski cracks the top five this lap by. Grabowski gets around the 51 Robert Shepard. He'll close in on Travis Patch. Here comes B.J. Conger, a guy who's had two strong runs the past two weeks working his way through the field. Scott Brown going to give Jordan Grabowski a little love tap in the rear. Down the back straightaway, bidding you your leader in the 3B. Alan Halderman, the 178, sits in that second spot. Third, the 30 of Jordan Grabowski. Oh, Scott Brown up the hill. He'll lose three spots coming off of turn four. Grabowski going to run the high side of Al Halderman. Going to try to get that second spot. Going to chase down Nick Bittinger. Battle for fourth. The 19 to P.J. Conger. The 14 to Travis Patch. Conger not able to make that 19 stick to the bottom tonight. She got a battle for second now. The 30 of Jordan Grabowski has caught up with the 178 of Alan Halderman. Grabowski's got that Ford horsepower stuck to the inside. And we're caution on the speedway. The speedway. We got Mayhem out back. Hold on. Rick Drescher through the infield. Alan Halderman slides back to that fourth spot. Double file restart. Not kind to Al Halderman as he's stuck in the middle. And we got a battle for the lead shaping up as Nick Bittinger out front. Jordan Grabowski right behind him. Grabowski going to try... Oh, we got something hanging off the 70 of Justin Becker. Keep an eye on that. That might be a debris caution here shortly. Grabowski and Nick Bettinger are going to battle it out here. Grabowski goes high on Nick Bettinger, slides up the hill a little bit. And indeed, there went the deck off of the 70 of Justin Becker. Up off the road. It's off of 1714. Make up your second row. PJ Conger and Al Halderman make up row number two. We have six down. Row three, the 28 of Rigsby. So we're starting. Six at down here out of 20. Bettinger and Gerbowski into the corner. Gerbowski going to try to get low. Rigsby with a. Do what? Yeah, he's out there. Here comes PJ Conger to the 19. No, he didn't leave. Do not forget about... Problems for Rick Drescher in the 09. Drescher off the speedway. Battle for the lead up in turn number one. Grabowski on the high side. The Beatrice Nebraska native will take the lead down the back straightaway. Oh, we got problems in turn number two. 31A. Back straight away. We still on eight. Eight laps down tonight's A main. Uh, seven laps down. Seven so laps down. We're starting eight. Coming up on lap number eight off of turn four. Green Skyward. Grabowski with a good run this time as they go into turn three. Side by side. He'll move Bittinger up the hill. 
Biddinger slides up down the back straight away they go. Here comes B.J. Conger. Conger will look for that second spot as they go into turn three. Shane Wendell, the 91, off the speedway is the battle for second. B.J. Conger in the 19, work on the low oh, line. Hold on, Danny Holt. And we got a smoker. It's going to be Clay. Holt will fire the 70 up. He'll move into the infield. We'll stay green on the speedway. Good job. We got oil. We got fuel there. Yeah, because of oil. I think that's Clay. for the 52 of Cliff Shepard. Shepard off the pace. Jordan Gerbowski and Nick Minninger trying to pull away from the... Gerbowski with a half a straightaway lead over the 3B and Nick Minninger. B.J. Conger sitting in third. Last week's feature winner Tom Charles up to fourth. As laps start to wind down. Close that door. Jordan Grabowski picking laps off here as he's looking for a feature win at Thunder Hill Speedway. Nick Bittinger holding down that second spot. B.J. Conger third, battle on the speedway. The 81 of Tom Charles sits in fourth. Travis Batch of the 14 right there with him as well as the 178 of Al Alderman. Johnny Allen after a mid-race caution Working his way close to the top ten. Little bump for Justin Jurgens and Justin Becker. Two Justins going at it again. Battle for third. Oh, look out. Brian Rigsby going around. on the speedway and the M80 match Dahl Bomber heads to the pit area. Final restart. Oh, yeah. Off a turn four. Green Skyward. Grabowski brings the field down to turn one. Battle shaping up for second. Conger in the 19. Bigger in the three. Justin Jurgens in the 178 of Allen Alderman. Little contact off of two. Both cars keep moving. We'll stay green on the speedway. Four laps remaining and out front of the 30 of Grabowski. Bittinger settles into second. Cogger back to third. Jordan Gerbowski will lead him into turn three. Gerbowski with a half a straightaway lead over the three of Binninger now as the field starts to stretch out. White flag next time by. Two laps remaining here in tonight's A main. Out front the 30 of Jordan Gerbowski. White flag away this time by. Grabowski brings the field down the front straightaway. Battle for third. The 14 of Travis Patch will get around the 19 of P.J. Conker. As we go down the back straightaway for the final time. Whoa, look out. We got contact over in turn two. Both cars will keep moving. That's John Charles, the 19, and the 81 of Conker. Jordan Grabowski picks up the win. Coming home second, the three of Nick Bittinger. Third goes to the 14 of Travis Patch, a K-27.
We'll get that four spot as we had action over in turn two. Jordan uh, looked like he had to use a little bit of patience out there, but, man, you finally got it. Yeah, we uh, had a good car tonight, and it just kind of stayed out of the way and got through traffic and all that good stuff kind of worked out real good for us. Happy uh, happy the way it turned out. You come down from Nebraska. Where do you race at normally up there? Uh, Beatrice, Nebraska. That's uh, that's our home track. That's where we usually run. We decided to run here on Saturday nights. and uh, It's a little bit farther. We used to go to Eagle, but it's a little bit farther down here. And, but uh, um, it, it's been playing out. We uh, have, have been tearing less stuff up equipment than we did at Eagle. So it's it's been a good good experience and it's really nice when the track's as good as it, it was t like tonight. So. I was going to say it looked like you could run anywhere out there because when you were running with Benninger there earlier you were running low then you were running high so just about anywhere on the track. Yep. My car was good. It's pretty versatile. I could run on the bottom and the top. Just kind of had to do what I had to do and keep it keep the nose clean and just keep the momentum up. Yeah. Okay now I'm going to try and get this name right. Jordan? Grabowski. And Jordan Grabowski. Once again, your winner, Jordan Grabowski, here for the IMCA Modifieds at Thunder Hill. Way to go, Jordan. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Appreciate it. Uh,